Thanks, Lauren. The Flint area is always buzzing with sports, and this week we're heading to the rink. Don't let the division fool you in skill. D3 ranked number seven Flint Powers takes on D2 number six Saginaw Heritage. Let's start the highlights. Let's go hard, really, really hard and aggressive and be physical on these guys. Do not sit back on your heels. Let's take it to them. They need to worry about us. We don't need to worry about them. Flint Powers Catholic looking to end their regular season on a high note as they took on Saginaw Heritage. Powers in white coming into the contest at 16 and six. Let's go to the first period. While shorthanded the senior Spencer Owen snapping it top shelf to give the Chargers a one nothing lead. Just moments later, Powers will strike again. This time they're on the man advantage as the senior Derek Simon gets it to go from the point. Chargers lead two to nothing after the first. And they'll ride that momentum into the second. Senior Connor Owen bangs home the rebound past Kevin Cressy, a three goal advantage. But Saginaw Heritage would cut into the deficit. Hunter Parasilti with the feed to senior Jason Federico, who puts it home. The Hawks down 3 to 1, heading into the third. Powers answering back just a minute into the final period. Brandon Walker's shot from the point is stopped. But the junior Dan DeLong is there to put the rebound in. Chargers with a three goal lead. Later in the third period, it's Connor Owen once again netting his second goal of the game and 21st on the season. Flint Powers goes on to beat Saginaw Heritage 6-2 the final. They end their regular season winning 10 of their last 11 games. We are not done yet. Let's head down the road to some boys basketball in the Genesee Area Conference. Perry on the road to take on Lake Fenton. Perry in red looking to get back to 500 on the season. We pick things up in the first quarter. Freshman Reese Middleton stopping and popping the long jumper. The Ramblers lead 18-14 after the first. Perry would expand their lead in the second. It's Hunter King nailing the three-pointer as they lead 31 to 23 going into halftime. This is our game, all right? 16 minutes, you play tough, you play scrappy, and we're walking out of here, okay? Let's go right now. Let's go. One, two, three, three. Lake Fenton got right back into the contest. Jalen Miller with the nice bounce feed to Chris Ross who banks it off the glass. Blue Devils going to the outside game as sophomore Chris Bell nails the three ball in the corner. Back comes the Ramblers as Ricky Taylor gets a nice feed to a cutting Middleton for the contested lay-in. He finished with a game-high 26 points. Game tied at 38 going into the fourth quarter. Lake Fenton would jump out to start the final stanza. It's Bell again from the three-point land. He finished with 11 points. Perry coming back, P.J. Theranish drives the baseline and gets it to go. We're tied at 48 going into overtime. Ramblers take control in the extra session. King driving and scoring. They would shut out Lake Fenton 9 to nothing in overtime. Perry wins 57 to 48 the final, putting them back at a 500 team at 8 and 8 on the year. 